Hi guys, how are you doing today? Today, look where I am. We're at Vista. What again? <laughs> they are saying they're screaming in the ground. Um, yeah, so today I've come to Vista Village. Um, I'll link my playlist at the top if you've not seen any of my Vista videos before. Um, I've come on a Monday, so Monday morning. It is like 10 past 9 now, it opens at 9. Um, I got here a little later than I thought, but it's fine. Literally no one is here, which is, look, look at the car park, there we go. See, no one's here really, which is fine because I don't like it when it's busy. Um, I'm gonna head on in now, I'm gonna show you, like do a come shop with me obviously around Vista today. Um, hopefully I can get in some of the big stores because I'm here early. I do need the loo though, that is the first point of call that we're going to. I'm obviously not taking you in the toilet because that would be weird, wouldn't it? But here we are, look, there's literally not a soul around, which is amazing. This is like 10 past nine um, and still literally not a soul around. I think it literally just rained as well. That's why it looks really wet. But first point of call, other than going to the loo, is Prada. Um, and I decided to have a look at some of the trainer options and shoe options that they've got in Prada today. Um, and we are beelining for, see like no one's in here and I was kind of doing it on the sly obviously. Um, but, but these were quite nice at, what's that, 350 Which was the outlet part and these were really nice as well. Um, and then in terms of, see look, dead, not even a sales associate around. And there's me having a look around. Um, then the Prada jacket, how much was this um, Prada puffer? Um, I cannot remember, obviously, because this is quite a while ago since I've been. I always have so many tags of stuff in here. And I thought these were really, like, cute. Their little nylon. Well, Prada's known for their nylon. That's 180 for, like, a little cosmetics pouch. Next, we're going in the motherships. We're going in burbs. I love a bit of burbs. Um, shirts, although the prices have gone up in here. Quite considerably this is one a what was that 190 180 and then in terms if you're looking for a, a Burberry classic trench they do have some of them in here as well um, like this classic beige one and the price for this is going to be 550 pounds which back in the day they used to be around the 200 mark but now they're 550 in here um, and they've got that in black as well and then i've got it in a navy as well at the front here which is also 550 british pounds if i was going to get one i'd probably have to get it in the classic uh beige color um they've got this like nice little section there but next we're actually going to go in gucci today i know yeah there's no queue you didn't have to go in the digital queue or anything um and there wasn't really many people inside either. A lot of the, I think the private sellers kind of thing um, were on here um, taking pictures and stuff. Um, but in terms of prices, 210 for that jumper, which is actually quite nice. In terms of a Gucci t-shirt, if that's what you are looking for. I know these were quite popular at one point. That's, what was that, 140 for that. Um, and then a cardigan there as well. In terms of shoes and trainers, what kind of prices are we looking at? We're looking at, um, for this one, um, that kind of price. That's the new Ace, I think it was. Um, and they had a lot of the Disney collection in here as well, which I didn't get to um, video, but a lot of the Disney collection in there. Quick look in Dior. Um, I didn't, there was a sales associate literally in the men's section of Dior today. So this is all the footage I could get. Unfortunately, I really like that jumper that's on the mannequin, actually. It'll probably be really expensive. Um, and then we're going to actually look in Saint Laurent. Um, this is the first time I've looked in the new store. I don't think I even went in the old store. Um, but they got some men's bags on the wall there. And like their cute, is that a Cuban boot? Um, but I thought that was very nice. This kind of trucker Sherpa lined jacket, £350 for that and then some of the t-shirts in here as well but YSL always reminds me of the time when it used to be in a uh, sports direct but 145 for that t-shirt next we're in North Face now um quite a lot of stock in North Face actually last time I came here it wasn't even open for some reason I don't know why um so that's the price of like one of the Finnish puffer jackets um, and then if we turn around, they've got like a more thicker puffer jacket up here as well. And that's the price for that. 
um, in the black style. So if you're looking for that, um, they have that in the outlet um, as well. And lots of different like brighter colours and stuff as well. This um, red fleece there. And then for a full zip up fleece, um, the price you're looking at is there as well. Um, they've got some of the like jumpers in here with the big logo on. Um, these are 44 instead of 65. They've got this massive, like, it's quite out there statement um, puffer jacket, which is obviously a bit more expensive. Um, but that, I do actually quite like that. Um, and then that is obviously my favourite colour, so I obviously do like that. And that's how much that was. I think that was around the £34 mark. Depending on the colours, they vary. Next, Tommy Hilfiger. Love me a bit of Tommy. And um, there was really wasn't anyone in this store either. A lot of the stores, no one in. Um, so a polo shirt in here is going to set you back, I believe it is £49. And then this is very similar to a t-shirt I've already got from Tommy Jeans. And um, this is 28 And then if you're looking at a hoodie in here in the Tommy Jeans section rather than Tommy Hilfiger, um, you are looking at, if I can get the tag out, Matt. Uh, the £60 mark. Next we're going to go in Hugo Boss, um, something that I don't, or Boss as it's now called, I really don't like their new branding to be honest. Um, the whole Boss thing I don't really like, but um, they've got this, I'm obviously drawn to, my favourite colour, really like that. Um, they had it hanging up as well actually, but um, I only got the clip there. And then these trainers, um, just to example of how much they are in here. And I actually went upstairs today. Upstairs, I don't think I've ever been upstairs in Hugo Boss here. In when they've been in this store, I don't think I went in the old store either. Um, but they had more like sale outlet price, but then the sale price on top of that in the upstairs. Um, so in terms of coats, um, this one's got like a inner coat as well. So you're looking at that for um, one of those and more of like a traditional wool style. Well, it's not really wool, like a long um, blazer type coat. That is what you're looking at. And then I thought I'd give you an idea of a trench coat, even though this one isn't the nicest one. It's not, obviously not as nice as a Burberry one. Um, that is the type of price you're looking at. So for 200 for that. And then in terms of a knitted jumper, um, that is the price, oh, I don't think you would really see that, sorry, because um, the lighting in here, but um, yeah, they've got a lot of different colours and stuff in here if you're looking for that kind of thing. They've got watches, wallets, all types of stuff in here as well. Um, they've got some, these were quite nice loafers, they're a bit, you know, chunky, which is quite nice. And um, that's around the £140 mark. Um, and then this nice little messenger bag I thought was quite nice, um, which will cost you over 200 for that next we're gonna have a brief look in coach very brief um i was on the hunt for a wash bag today so i saw this one um and that was the price so a bit out of my price range for that thanks but i did quite like the design of that is kind of like retro um and then as you can see it was probably like half 10 ish by this point and they're still no one around so come on a monday that is the best time next we're going to head into ted baker wash bags in ted baker were around the 33 or 35 pound mark but they also had an additional 20 percent off on top of that um this is a nice lilac colored t-shirt for 29 but 20 percent off top really really liked this shirt i thought it was lovely i loved all the colors in that really nice i don't know very summer very summer for £49. Um, I, thought, I just love that. It's so bright and nice. Um, and then if you're looking for a bright yellow t-shirt, they've got them here for around, what is that, £17? Oh, it's quite bright, isn't it? Um, just got back in the car. Because I've been around Bista. It's actually, what is the time? Let me check. It's literally just 11 o'clock. So I spent two hours here, which I don't normally do. <laughs> Um, but there was actually quite a lot of good stuff in today and I did actually buy quite a few things um, naughtily um, so I'm either going to do a separate haul or keep it on this video depends how long it actually is <laughs> um, this video I probably shouldn't have bought some of the stuff I did one was a present which I'll show you 
Yeah, but I'll probably go home now because there's a lot of people walking around and I will tell you about the experience when I get back, but I need to actually go to the supermarket on the way home. And then I've got an optician's appointment this afternoon, so it's all go today. So I'm back home now from Bista, and I'm filming on my DSR again, which I haven't actually done in forever. But yeah, I normally film on my phone, but I actually bought something today, not from Bista, it's just from Argos, that you can put your SD card in here, because I know this isn't the best quality in doors. Outside on the back facing camera is literally beautiful but front facing it is not the best so I am going to actually start utilizing my DSLR again I did film something the other day on my little point and shoot Canon but it hasn't got a flip round screen so it's difficult to see if I'm in frame or not or the things I'm showing are in frame so I don't think I'll be using that now that I have got this thing to work because Nikon this is a complete side note I'm going to tell you more about Bista in a moment um Nikon like Canon have an app where you can transfer files over and you can transfer videos. Nikon also have an app where you can transfer files over. This is by Wi-Fi, um, but it doesn't let you do videos, only photos, which is really annoying. Um, and there's no really easy other way to get um, stuff off my camera into my phone because I'm much preferring editing on my phone these days because it's just a lot quicker process. But anyway, that's by the by. Back from Bista, I did buy a few things and I'm going to, in my next video, I'm gonna do a haul because otherwise I think this video might be really long because there's quite a bit to show you, which I was really naughty, I know. Um, but a lot of it isn't actually, well, I say that. A lot of it was really good price and a lot of it was not for me. Like two things but I will show you that in the haul on Friday because it's going up Wednesday that's going to go up Friday for you to watch but oh my god what was I in where was I in that I nearly bought something well I managed to go in Gucci and that was because normally I wouldn't get into Gucci but Bista wasn't busy at all I got there 10 minutes after it opened not busy I went in Prada and Burberry first before even going into Gucci and you could just walk in so you didn't need to do the digital queue or anything um which was absolutely fine they did have uh, they did have kids in Gucci and I was I'm always on the lookout for something interesting and quirky for my niece and nephew um but I've but it was a little bit too expensive like the cheapest thing I could see was 55 and it was not a very nice dress um so I didn't do that um but I did pick something up for my niece which I'll show you in the next video um where else did I go I went in Ted Baker I nearly bought some things in Ted Baker I was so tempted because I'm looking for a wash bag like a bigger one although I think I've got a big one and by the time the amount of times I actually use a wash bag is very minimal so it's probably not worth it but they had a big wash bag in there and uh, like wash bags were 20% off so it was 33 so 20% off so £6.60 or something um, which would make it quite a bit cheaper um, but decided not to go with that um, and they also had a really nice shirt in there which I didn't pick up either because I don't know it was just it was £17 they had like a sale on sale section which I didn't pick up anything in but I nearly did. I also went in Sandra. Oh, before that, Couples was shut for like a refurb only like today, which I'm filming this is the 31st and on the 1st of Feb, like 31st of January and 1st of February. And I was going to go in there, but it was shut for a refurb on those two days, which sucks. But um, I went in Sandro and I nearly bought something in there as well because they had the Snoopy merch in there and they had a t shirt. It was £55 though which is why I didn't buy it, but it was so nice they had like the hoodies. I didn't film in there because I was the only one in there, so it would have been awkward. But, um, and they said if you can't find your size on there, we'll look upstairs. So they've got extra stock, it seems. But they had, because I think they're very minimal, the way they set things out. They'll only have like two of the items on there and then they'll go check if they, if you want something. Um, and they'll go check to see if they've got it in stock in your size but they had a yellow well they had a few Snoopy t-shirts that I could have bought a yellow one a white one I think they had a long sleeve one they had a few hoodies nearly bought though one of those but decided against it because it was £55 I can't justify a £55 Snoopy t-shirt when um, in a video coming up Primark are selling them if you are doing a video next week um, 
and Primark are selling them for a lot cheaper and a lot more embellished. Um, although these ones in Sandro were like embroidered and obviously Primark is going to be like screen printed on. But yes, that was it was a fairly successful trip to Vista this time because I actually picked up a few things. Um, but yeah, whew. Have you been to Bista recently or any other outlets um, recently? Um, I've been watching quite a few American videos, American YouTubers or Brits in America and them going to outlets and things and I just want to go there because they seem to have more, better prices than we do here. Um, but yeah. Let me know down below if you've been to an outlet recently and if you've picked up any good bargains. And other than that, stay tuned, subscribe for more Come Shop With Me's, more Bista ones. I am planning on doing a Bista one every month, like I am going to do with Primark as well. So if you want to see those, then do subscribe. It's free. Click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified. I am going to be filming next the haul port. port all part, oh my god I can't even speak, all part of this video so subscribe for that, that is coming out on Friday um, so make sure you come back to check that out to see what I have bought but other than that hope you guys are all well, thank you guys so much for watching this video subscribe if you're not ready and um, follow my Instagrams which are always linked down below you get to see a sneak peek of where I've been before it hits the, the tube but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye